Good day, friends. I hope you're doing really well. This is Tracy Brown and my team and I provide non-diet trauma-informed nutrition counseling so that you can feel less stressed and more at home in your own body. So I just want to make sure that as we finish up this week around the some of the barriers and the benefits to seeing, um, tending to yourself, we'll call it tending, we'll call it adulting, we'll call it the dreaded word even like planning ahead to get your food needs met via meal planning, grocery shopping, whatever. It's when that stuff is so overcoupled with past dieting attempts or trying to control your, your fight, flight, freezer, please through over or under focus on food needs, that kind of stuff. It does take a total mind reframe to like understand the benefit of it and then not feel like a threat. All right. So a lot of people feel like meal planning is a threat. I know for me, I have to have, have writ, stuff written down to a T about how I was going to do or not do my food that day. And it felt very oppressive. It felt very obsessive. And so of course, when I came out of that and started doing like, you know, mechanical eating and then intuitive eating, um, planning ahead, you know, to like, and to have a loose structure of, um, what groceries I might buy based on the foods we might like, I could feel a little bit of like, um, sometimes hesitance, sometimes rebellion, whatever. And so I think it's really important that we review in our own minds, well, what's the benefit of planning to get our needs met? And I'm just going to, I've got this really small list and I'm going to ask you a question at the end. Okay. So what do we get out of this? Well, we do feel calmer because our food needs are met or we're not doing this like cellular, like wobbliness about like, are you restricting me again? Is this a diet again? Like, what are you doing to me? Or just hunger, basically, like over, over hungry. And we know we're over hungry when we are, our mood drops, our energy drops, our focus drops. And maybe that's some of the reason we want to do better by ourselves is like, we want to feel calmer and more focused, more present. Um, we have expectancy that our needs are going to get met because there's plenty of food in the fridge and in the cupboards and the freezer. Um, we have a decent variety. We have backup plans and that always feels like there's some maybe safety in our systems around that. Again, there, there's the security. Um, I know some families, I know mine included, feel a sense of camaraderie when we're all kind of like putting in our two cents about what would sound good and maybe sharing tasks. You know, some days one person's more in charge, some days another person, every family's different. And... I think that's it for today. I just want to do a quick little summary video of Mondays plus a little extra um, thumbs up for you today of what would you add? What are some of the things, basically the payoffs for you to take a few minutes? You know, it doesn't even matter what it's on. It could be on your phone notes. It can just be on scrap paper. It can be on a, a whiteboard of, you know, what breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack options and ideas do you have? What do you have access to? I know we did talk a lot about food insecurity in Monday's video. So if you feel like I'm neglecting that, definitely not. We already covered it. Um, but there are lots of resources out there. You can tag me below if you're looking for those too of like, um, I want to do all those things, but I do feel kind of bored with eating because of access issues. Please let me know. All right. I think that's it for today. I hope this encourages you to remind yourself when it's feeling like effort or energy and you're having some like critical thoughts that like um, your needs are too much or you're kind of being hard on yourself. It may not be your voice. This could be a voice from the past. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.